Oh, they're coming towards us with life jackets. You coming with me, please? Both of us. Jacket, would you? I don't believe it. You looking with me? Oh, my God. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just feeling very humiliated that I'm walking across the beach in a wedding dress, which is one thing, yeah. but then to be walking across the beach in a wedding dress, in a life jacket. Everybody's staring. Where did the bridesmaids go? They're 20 minutes away and being ferried out to the banana boat. Oh, Jesus. This is it. All this planning. Let's just hope it was worth it. There is a yacht coming this way. Please be on that yacht. I'm praying. Please be on that yacht. Well, there is a boat, but it's not a yacht. Hello. Hello. You go in the boat? Yes. And you go in the parasailing? No, you, what does you, that mean? You're on a, like, parachute behind the boat. Parachutes in the boat, yeah. I won't be able to do it in a wedding dress. But it looks like she's going to try. Can you please make sure I don't get wet? Why would he choose a dress that I can't lift up yet have me doing something like this? I hope they've passed me in safely. Oh my god! Some sort of bloody banana boat over there. Look. There's, loads of... There's people waving over there. Look. Oh my god, we're getting married on a banana boat. Where's Cal? Where's Cal? God, what earth is going on? So is this us walking down the aisle? No, your walk down the aisle is going to be far more energetic and messy. Tasked with the job of revealing this is best man Ivan. So, this is your, your, your aisle. This oh, is, God. this is, um... <laughs> Are you OK there? Are you sure you're OK? <laughs> uh, What's up, OK. <laughs> Try and compose yourself, OK? It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> so, you're going to walk down to your beautiful hubby. He's, he's waiting down there. Uh, and Bruce is going to explain to you how you're going to get there. OK. We've set a course out for you. And what a course it is, because Chris isn't going to make his bride's dash down the aisle easy. In fact, he's literally going to make her jump through hoops to become his wife. It doesn't look like a wood. <laughs> no, it is absolutely ridiculous. We shouldn't have had to wear this to do that, but it's Chris, isn't it? It's at this moment it dawned on Chris that it may not have been the best idea to create the world's most difficult aisle. It's been three long weeks spent apart from Chris, but Charlotte seems determined not to let any more obstacles stand in her way. Chris! Make your way up there, girl. Right, let's go get married. I would do anything for love. No, I won't do
actually harder than I thought it was going to be. I feel like I'm having to really work for his love, but I don't mind that. I think he deserves it after all this. So I just want to see him. I'm excited. She might be soaking wet and covered in soap, but Charlotte is just moments away from finally being reunited with her hopefully soon-to-be husband. Do you, Charlotte, take Chris to be your husband to have and to hold from this day forward? I will. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. OK, good. Do you, Chris, take Charlotte to be your wife? I will. You may now kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed, although it may be Kate that has murder in mind when she finds out about Kyle's next surprise. What the hell? So it's an helicopter. I want to know what I'm doing to get on with it. I feel like I'm looking out for something, but I just don't know what. Flying up into the sky, Kate's dreams of a traditional and serious wedding day are about to come crashing down. Is that like a, a track there, that circle? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All them cars. Is there? Yeah, do you know what it looks like? Banger racing. Yeah, it does. Motorbike racing. Oh, my God. Hurry up, baby, we're going to race in a minute. I'm happy she's here now. I think she'll be fuming, like. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God. Now it's down to best man Lee to show Kate to her carriage and persuade her to get in it. What the hell is that? What is that? You like it? I don't want wheat flash. Oh, I know I'm not wearing an helmet. No, I'm not wearing an helmet. No. It's going to fly in the air. Have I got an air just a frafter? Kyle has no idea that all his plans now rest on Kate's hairdo. Could not have had it going any better in my head. Big turnout. Spot on. I'm going to feel claustrophobic. Right, Chuck her in one of these, put an helmet on her, and let's have a good smash up, innit? Finally, the bride picks her man over her wedding hair. Oh! I'm going to be sick. I can't, I'm going to be sick. Take your hair down. Push it on, yeah? Yeah. Ah! You all right? Yeah. Ah! You all right? Ah! Yeah. I feel like I'm having a facelift. Oh! Holy shit. I can't even see anything. So with Kyle in the number 36 car and Kate in her limo tank, after three weeks apart, the couple can finally make contact again as they race towards their aisle. And by the virtue that uh, Katie did more laps, she is the winner. 20 nerve shredding laps later. Well, that always her make up. And winner's trophy in hand. Kate can finally stagger down her aisle. In the middle of a racetrack, 
and marry the man that put her in pole position. Yeah. Yeah. Park up ahead. You want to score to park? <laughs> oh, oh my Jesus God! Christ. Wow! Wow! Ah. Still, still like shoes and things. Yeah. This is awesome. At least I might fit better in this. <laughs> wow! Oh, oh, oh! This is loads better than that mini. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going now. I don't even know where I am. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Lee clearly didn't think this through, did he? So the bride who didn't want to be the centre of attention on her wedding day arrives in a see-through carriage, dressed as a fairy tale princess, gawped at by hundreds of total strangers. Oh, I got more to people. And when she sees her seven special ushers, the penny finally drops about Lee's theme. Oh, oh my God. God! Is there seven dwarves there? Oh, yes. Oh, there's, oh, there's, there's, there's seven dwarves! There's seven dwarves, <laughs> seven dwarves <laughs> waving at me. Oh, <laughs> Where's my dwarf? Where's my dwarf? Where's he gone? Oh, yeah. Here we go, come on. It's the one. <laughs> as the snow magically begins to fall on a hot August afternoon. Leave my hair alone. The seven dwarves lead Snow White to the edge of the enchanted forest the groom has created. Oh, hey, look. Oh, You've got to see oh, it. Oh, no, Snow White, what say do you it. say? What say do you it. say? Say it. I don't know. Say it. I don't know what to say. What to say. I don't know. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> After three weeks, seven dwarves and thousands of flakes of fake snow, Lee's winter woodland transformation is complete. Oh my god, the snow! I'm so excited. <laughs> I just want to see him now. Finally, Snow White can marry her Prince Charming. Ha, 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 ha.